Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. In the past few days, lots and lots of you guys have been complaining both on comments in my videos and to me on social networks that you are suffering from extreme stutter when playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on CMU Emulator. Now before I cover this topic and show you exactly how you can slightly fix this issue, I want to draw your attention to this video here. What you are seeing now is Wii U footage of Breath of the Wild. And there you go, you saw that stutter and hitch. This is exactly what we are seeing on CMU Emulator in Update 1.3.3 and DLC 2.1. There we go, it happened once again. So as you can see, this is not actually related to CMU and it appears to be related to the new updates released for the game itself on the Wii U platform. Now due to time and money constraints on myself as a smaller YouTube channel, I have only been able to test this on my own personal Wii U console which has Homebrew installed on it. I would absolutely love to hear from any of you guys in the CMU community or the Wii U community at large if you are suffering from this same issue on Update 1.3.3 and DLC 2.1. Back to the CMU community, I am now going to show you some settings which can help to alleviate these stutters and hitches. Now while these problems do persist and did not go away on my Wii U, I was actually able to alleviate these hitches and stutters to a point where they were basically unnoticeable when using CMU Emulator. I am just going to show you now exactly what settings I use when I use CMU Emulator in order to alleviate these hitches and stuttering. The first thing we want to do is come up to options and come down to experimental. I have everything like you see here. I turn off use RDTSC, I usually wait till I'm in game to turn on full sync at GX2 draw done and I disable this enable breath of the wild crash fix in favour of using the LZ WX crash workaround that comes with CMU hook. If you do not have the most up to date version of this for update 1.3.3 I will have CMU hook linked down in the description so you can get that. Moving across to debug, coming to custom timer, I generally leave this at QPC and 1x speed and when we come to MM timer accuracy I always leave this at 1 millisecond. And that's it guys, that's all the settings I use when I play Breath of the Wild on CMU emulator. Now as some of you may or may not be aware, I am also building a brand new 100% complete shader cache for use with the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on CMU 1.11.0 and future. The reason that I need to build this new cache is because in update 1.3.3 new shaders were introduced to the game and with these new shaders we needed to update our 100% complete Breath of the Wild shader cache. Hopefully I will be finished it within the next day so I can upload it either tomorrow or the day after and this will in turn help you guys with your in-game stutter and as a byproduct deliver you more fluid gameplay. As always guys, cheers for checking out the video, I hope you found this one either informative or interesting. Remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.